Hi, my name's Sean, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my studio. Actually, it's my kitchen. Well, anyway, today I wanna to talk about two topics. Right, I wanna talk about my first thing today is what camera equipment I use. I've watched hours and hours and hours of YouTube video on what cameras to buy and what to get. And they all say, don't buy an expensive camera because buying expensive cameras won't make you take better pictures. So I've opted for this Canon camera, which is a entry level DLSR. It, come, it came with um, this lens here, which is a 75 to 300 mil. It's a kit lens. Um, and also it comes with this lens as well, which is a kit lens. It's not a bad lens actually. This one takes some really nice pictures. It's 18, 80 mil to 55. But already, um, I've already swapped out um, some of the lenses I've brought here. I've got here, it's a, it's a Canon ultra wide lens, 18, sorry, it's a 10 to 18 mil. Um, again, I used this for the first time on my first video, which I took two weeks ago, um, which I took this picture with, which I'm really happy with. This was using this lens here. I also got a little Canon 50, 50 mil, a nifty 50 if they say, um, which again, this takes some really nice pictures as well. Um, but I've also upgraded to this lens here, which is a Canon 55 to 250 mil. It's a, it takes a lot better pictures than the stock, um, the lens that actually come with the camera. So I'm quite pleased with this. And I did take another cam picture with this. I put it there. Again, I only used these for the first time last week. Right, a little bit more on my Canon DLSR. It's a Canon um, 2000D, or I think it's also known as the Canon Rebel. Um, I've taken some pictures with it last year, and um, with the stock lens, or should I say the lenses that actually come with the camera, um, I think they call them kit lenses. I've heard people talk about them before. Um, yeah, so I've made loads of mistakes. And again, I've watched hours and hours and hours of YouTube video. Now I'm quite confident enough to get into the manual mode. First of all, when I first started using this camera, I made so many mistakes. I would go out, I would take photos. They would come out blurry. Um, I was using the wrong lenses. Um, and basically what I was doing was going out and not setting up the right shutter speed. The camera wanting to do a slow shutter speed in AV mode and you're trying to hold it, you get blurry pictures. And it was like really frustrating to begin with using, going out first of all, using a DLSR camera. But again, you know, I've started to master it. I've taken some nice photos with it. I'm gonna put um, a video up or some random pictures I took with this last year. Um, they're all from the, the this lens here. It's the kit lens, the 18 to 55. Um, these are totally unedited. Um, and I'm gonna put them up now for you, for you to look at. Right, my second camera I use, believe it or not, it's this little Canon Pro shot. It's, you know, believe it or not, I pay 30 pound for this from um, Facebook Marketplace, really. I brought it thinking, no, nah, you know, it's, it's not gonna take some good pictures. Or, but believe it or not, this little camera takes some really nice photos. Um, you know, I, I went out, I took it on my, my holiday last year because sometimes I think taking the big DLSR and all the lenses, if you're just going on holiday, it takes too much space for me anyway. So I, I took this on holiday with me 
And I managed to pull off some really nice photos with this. Not only that, it takes some really nice macro pictures. Um, I plan on using this, this little camera more. Um, again, if I'm gonna, my next upgrade would be a little Canon Pro because they, they're quite nifty little cameras. You can just slide them in your pocket. They come, they come with a little um, carrying case. And believe it or not, I paid 30 pound for this. Um, what I'll do, I'll show you some pictures. Again, these are straight out of the camera, um, unedited, and I will show you these ones to you now. Right, the third camera I use is, everybody's got one, it's a phone camera. Um, at the moment, I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro. I've only just upgraded to this. So I'll tell the reasons why I upgraded because the actual camera system on this little iPhone 13 Pro is absolutely awesome. Um, the photo quality is really good. And it's always handy to have, because everybody's got a phone. So if you see something, you should take a picture if you haven't got your normal cameras with you. Um, this was actually taken um, my first outing with the iPhone 13. Um, I must admit, it, it's really nice picture, pictured from the phone. It has a macro lens on it. It has a zoom lens on it. It has a wide angle lens on it. And again, you know, what more can you, you ask for just going out and about? Um, what I'll do, I will take a picture with the macro lens and I will put it up the on the phone, on the video now for you to see. Um, also, last year I was out and about with the iPhone 11. Um, again, I'm gonna take show you some pictures I used with my iPhone 11 and I will show you these. These are totally unedited and also um, there's a few um, black and white pictures, which I like black and white pictures and a few long exposures. Right, the second thing I want to talk about is my own photography. Um, I love landscape photography, that is my passion. I like getting out and about in the fields, in the woods, um, just taking some nice photos to be quite honest. I always take my Canon, my Canon camera with me. Um, not only is it good, it's good for your well-being as well to get out there and just be one with the nature and just get out there and take some nice pictures. Um, I've got a challenge as well this year. I'm going to challenge myself. I live in a town called Stevenage and there's lovely lakes just up just up the road from me, really. Um, I mean, you can Google Google Fairlands Lakes in Stevenage and you will find thousands upon thousands of, of images. And there's some really nice photos people have taken with, um, you know, the golden hour, with the sunsets, you know, the sunrises, with the lakes. And they, they do look absolutely brilliant. But again, it's something I'm not really into sunsets or the golden hour. It is nice if, if you're out and about and you see a nice sunset or, you know, take a picture again with the iPhone or, or whatever camera you've got with you at the time. Um, so my challenge this year is to go up to the lakes, up to Fairlands Lakes and take an image that is, to me, not been taken totally different. And that's one of the um, challenges I've set myself this year. I also like taking macro photography as well. I like getting close into things and taking some nice images. I did try, believe it or not, take one the other day with this lens here, which is the the 55 to 250 mil, and I just totally got it wrong. I just I need to like look up on how to take macro with one of these lenses. I just couldn't get it to focus. So I don't know if I, I had at the time the um, shutter speed wrong, uh, but I will get there in the end. Um, 
So for that, I say at the moment, I'm going to use the iPhone. I do like macro photography. I think it's really good to get close into your subject. And again, you can do macro photography in your garden. You can do it at home with pot plants. Anything really, just get up close with it. I like long exposure photography as well. Um, the iPhone is really good for doing that. It's got a set, it's already got a set in there to take long exposure. So that's good if you can do a waterfall or something like that. Um, with the Canon, um, I done one last year in the Peak District, um, which I was really pleased with. I put a filter on there. Again, all this is still a learning curve for me. Um, again, I've got some projects I want to do. I want to go out and about and take some more photos of waterfalls with the long exposure. I think they do look really nice. You know, the creamy effect or the milky effect. It all depends how long um, you want to do the, ex the, the exposure for. Actually, I'm going to go out about, and that's one of my videos I want to do as a video on its own. So I will be doing that in the future. But all this video, making videos for YouTube is, is, is totally new to me. Um, my first video, which has got, I think, 25 views. To be quite honest, I'm quite pleased with that. I won't expect to get hardly any. Um, I've got four subscribers as well. I mean, hopefully I can only get better and better. I use two programs, actually, when I've been doing my video editing. I use um, the iMovie, which is I think is a really good program. You can do so much with it, but there's certain things you can't do or I struggle with. It's just, just by showing a photo, it wants to turn the photo into a movie, uh, which you don't get to see the whole photo. So what then I have to do is go into video editor on the windows and put make uh, add the photos to there make a short film of the photos then import that into iMovie that certainly seem to be the way I can do it if I'm doing something wrong or if somebody knows how to just keep a photo in movie maker without it absolutely like you know wanting to turn it into movies I, I do struggle with that um but again i don't mind it's only five minutes and you just transfer the files really easy you know so if that's what i've got to do for now that's what i will do i do like seascape photography as well i love being out on the beach trying to find different compositions learning different things um with my camera different shutter speeds um different compositions and just seeing what i can find i love black and white photography especially when i'm on the beach um, doing long exposures, seeing the waves come in, um, peer photography as well. I've, you know, you might have seen some in the earlier photos I've shown you. Um, but again, I just love um, going out and doing seascape photography. Here's a picture I took as well. This was taken on the Essex coast. And, and I think that's a really nice photo. That's a bit of a long exposure. This one here, this was taken in Sussex, actually, that, you know, I took a drive up to Sussex. You know, the good thing about where I live, I'm only like an hour, hour and a half away from any beaches. So I can get out and about on my days off or take my wife. She loves going out on beach walks as well. And we try and get out and about, especially in the summer or autumn or spring, at least twice a month just to get out on the beach, have a walk and take some nice photos. People have asked me about portrait photography and would I want to get into some portrait photography, but to believe it or not, I'm not really interested in taking pictures of people or some portraits because people annoy me to be quite honest and I prefer to be out and about, getting some fresh air, out in the landscape, taking some nice photos, trying to learn compositions. That's what I want to do. That is my passion in my photography and that's what I want to grow in and, and that's what I want to learn. Right, my plans going forward this year, I've got a few challenges, like I said, about going up to the Fairlands Lakes in Stevenage and getting that one that one image that I think could be totally different. That's my challenge. Um, I've got an idea what I want to do, so I'm just waiting for the right weather conditions for that, and it's not a snowy picture either. Um, I've got um, I'm gonna go out and try some street photography. I'm going to go out with the the 50 mil only and um, I'm going to go to London, spend the day in London with my brother-in-law who's also a photographer um, and we, 
we're gonna go out and do the 50 mil challenge and try and see what photos we can get. I've never done street photography before, so that'd be interesting. Um, I don't mind, I'll, I will give it a go. Um, I may even enjoy it. I may even wanna do more of um, street photography, but that's one project I've got going on and that's in March. Also, I'm off to the Brecon Beacons. Um, that's the end of March. So um, I'm going up there, I'm gonna take my Canon and really hope that I can get some really nice pictures. I've been to the Brecon Beacons before when I was quite young, so it'd be nice to go back and revisit the Brecon Beacons and look at it in a, in a different light. Um, I've also got some holidays plans. I'm going to Spain, which again, I will take this little, um, just a little, the Canon Pro for that. So it does take some really nice pictures and and it's also handy, it's so small. I mean, if I take my DLSI, you, you're talking about your hand like if you pull your lenses and everything else. So, you know, I'll just take the Canon. Um, I'm off to New York as well, um, the tail end of the year. Um, I, I might actually do take the Canon with me then. Um, I'm going there for five days with my wife and to celebrate a birthday with some family and hopefully I can get some nice photos of New York. I've never been to America, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Okay, thank you for watching um, my, this is my second video, a little bit about myself. Um, I hope I haven't bored, bored you too much because I bored myself to be quite honest. Okay, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll get another video out in, in a couple of weeks time. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.